done, right, is I'm doing a teen mom interview with a teen mom. I'm going to be asking her questions about her teenage pregnancy uh, experience. So let's get started on your questions. <laughs> the worst things your kid has done. Puked on me, <laughs> hit me, said no to me. Someone taught them no. <sighs> Someone taught them to scream. Her. Her. Uh. <sighs> well, oh, she freaking made me, she made me, like, have hips. I <sighs> like that. I had hips before her, so. Before I was pregnant. Before I was pregnant. Before I was pregnant, I had... Not no even, hips. no, no, no hips. She had no hips. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, what was your first reaction when finding out? <clears throat> I mean, before I took the test, I kind of already knew. Um, I was just sick a lot, drinking a lot of water, craving things I didn't crave before. Um, how did you feel about that? <laughs> Emotions. Know. I didn't care. Oh, you cared. No, I didn't care. I just remember thinking, like, just have to. <laughs> That's all I thought. Like, the whole pregnancy. Like, even whenever I was, like, in labor, I was like, oh my god, I don't have a kid. Yeah. <laughs> what was your most uh, common food cra craving or most unusual craving? Apples. Uh, yeah, that's unusual? No, my most craving. <laughs> my Edward. unusual craving was like spaghetti or Big Macs. Hmm. Or like lasagna. Like I always, like I look at commercials, like I really want spaghetti. Like I want Olive Garden. I hate Olive Garden. <laughs> but I really wanted Olive Garden. Mine was steak and tacos and, and taco grapes. Though. Grapes was the most common. What was the hardest part about being pregnant? Mm, my hips growing. If you get pregnant and you have no hips, it's going to hurt a lot. I had hips before and it wasn't that big of a deal, but she had no hips and they hurt her like almost the whole time. Like, especially if you don't have hips and then like her spine, like her feet were right here. Her head was like, you know, down there. And then her <laughs> spine was directly on mine. So, right like, there, right? I'd have, like, pain right here all the time. It's my lower right side. And then my hips at the same time were, like, you know, like, expanding and ripping apart. Not literally, but, you know. Where were you? What were you doing when you went into labor? Um... <laughs> I remember this. I was going to tell the whole story. So, mm -hmm. my so-called baby daddy, as much as you, you guys would say it, or, um, he was down the street riding a four-wheeler thingy, and he kept on going back and forth on our street, and it was like 12 a.m., My and I went out there, and I was like, like, cause you know, I'm pregnant, I'm tired. So I went out there to see, like, what was it? And out of like the corner, like a corner of my eyes, see something. All I hear is, "Hey, that's my baby, mama." <laughs> so then I walk back in and I shut the door, and then my dad walks out and he starts screaming at him. And then he comes back in, and me and him get in a huge fight. I don't fall asleep till one o'clock in the morning, and I was just a lot. Of, I was under a lot of stress the same day. I found out that I wasn't going to be, what is it called, in, induced. induced. Yeah. They said I wasn't going to be induced. They were um, pushing my due date till the 14th, and it was supposed to be the 10th. And they were going to put her on a stress thing. Test. Stress test. Mm -hmm. Because she could be um, under. A lot of stress. Yeah. Um... Then I woke up at 3 o'clock the same morning, and I felt something, like, wet, like I thought it was bleeding. So then I went to the bathroom, and I checked, and I wasn't bleeding. I just peed, and I was going to, like, continue with peeing for, like, two minutes, and then 
I went out to the living room and I was like kind of questioning. I was like, so do I think my water broke? And then I started laughing. And then I packed all the bags. We got ready. We went to the hospital at four. Actually, she was a little bit more frantic than that. When she woke me up, she's like, Snore, snore, I think something gushed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did say yeah. that. I was like, I was like, I think something gushed. I think my water broke. Something like that. But I kind of laughed at it, too. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh, yeah, we got to the hospital at four. Got everything ready at five. Had her five, 12 hours after that. Yeah. 16, 16 hours of labor. Funny thing, after she got her epidural, uh, and she was about ready to push, but, like, I mean, she was there, but she didn't want to. When the nurse says, it's ready to, it's she time said, to push. Oh, yeah, she said, you're, she said, you're at 10 centimeters, uh, 10 centimeters, it's time to push. And I was like, no, give me, like, 30 minutes of sleep. They gave her an hour of sleep. Yeah, I wanted to sleep. She's like, I don't want to now. Right now. Yeah, I was like, like no, just, yeah. I want to sleep. That's Everybody in the room laughed. Like, we had our cousin, her best friend at the time, my mom, and our aunt, aunt uh, rushed in at the last minute. You were there, too. What was your labor experience? Natural, epidural, med, C-section. How long were you in labor? 16 hours labor. Natural with an epidural. Um, <laughs> oh, I also had that mor morphine thing. Whatever. Morphine is the epidural. No, I had a different thing through my IV. Oh. I mean, once I got, like, whenever I got my epidural, I was kind of shaky because I was asleep. And they already put the bed up, like, and. They already told everyone to go out, so then whenever they woke me up, nobody was there, and I was surrounded by, like, nurses and doctors, and I started crying because I thought something bad happened. I thought something bad happened, and then the dude, he did the, like, he put in the epidural wrong three times. So, I mean. Her experience was way worse than mine. Uh-huh. Mine went in the first time, and I was like, this is they, awesome. They were so, like, they were so rude to me because, well, you know. Nova. Nova. Nova, you just ruined my shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, they were so rude to me because, you know, I was 15 at the time. And, and you don't really see 15-year-olds having, you know, kids. No, no, you don't. <laughs> Cassie, no, no, you don't. <laughs> was it better or worse than you anticipated? Better. Yeah. Well... Uh, labor and delivery went great, but, I mean, <laughs> the pregnancy was horrible. Yeah. I thought pregnancy was going to be so much easier than, like, because, like, I kept on thinking, I was like, you know what, I got nine months of pregnancy, no periods, no nothing, no hurting, but then I got, like, you no. know, maybe, maybe, like, two hours of labor and delivery. Oh. That's all, that's all that came to my mind. Ow. But I got six months of. No, not six. Nine months of sicknesses and, like, pain, agonizing pain. <laughs> then I got 16 hours of, like, glory and sleep. Like, oh, my God, thank God. <laughs> what were the baby stats? Weight, length, time, and date of birth? Um, weight, uh, 10 pounds, one ounce. Length, I think it was 20 inches. Mm -hmm. Time. 5.45 p.m. And day birth, 12, 7, 16. I keep on trying to give my date of birth. December 7th. Yeah, December 7th, 2016. Did you have a good pregnancy in the Y? No. Why? I just don't do. What advice would you give other women about pregnancy? Don't get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Adopt. <laughs> um... <laughs> my advice prenatals of course the doctors will tell you that make sure you don't go through it alone just make sure you don't even if you gotta have friends your mom your dad whoever don't go through it alone. some people can't help that though yeah you can't help it but i mean you, you like go out find friends like go out and speed date 
find friends. Like speed, speed, speed friending, friend, speed friending. <laughs> Go out and speed friends. Go find friends. What is your views on young moms having kids? My views was I mean, what do you? What's your opinion? Most teen parents I saw before I got pregnant, I always saw them as like taking like treating their kids like crap. So, you know, like not taking care of them, not wanting them, aborting them or adopting them adopting them out. But I mean if you if you are gonna adopt your baby out, make sure you go like give it to somebody who's actually gonna take care of that kid. Like if someone can't have kids. If you do get pregnant you can't pay for it. You can't all, there's always more options with that. You don't have to, you know, get rid of it because you can't pay for it. There's always a lot more options you can get, like, help me grow, uh, wake. Yeah, there is help out there. Yeah, there's, like, so much more help. <laughs> you, like, churches even help people. What's your biggest fear about being a mom? Not giving her everything that she wants and needs. Not supporting her the way, the right way. Mine is that someone's going to kidnap my child. Yeah, oh my gosh. I have <laughs> so many dreams about that. <laughs> Nightmares. Like, what, the the trip that we went to Florida, I just felt like someone was going to like take the girls. I know. <laughs> it's the worst thing. As soon as you're a mom, you're like, oh my goodness. Like, before you're a mom, yeah, like, and everybody, you, like, you go out somewhere, just... and you're out till like 1 o'clock in the morning. Oh no, it's no big deal, you know. Like, you know I'm not, I'm not going to get kidnapped. <laughs> you know I'm not going to get hurt. But then when you became a mom, you could get kidnapped. You could get hurt. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's like, chill. <laughs> but when you're a mom, you're like, I get it. Now. Why is she, what is she feeding She's her? She's feeding her water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last question. Uh... How did you come up with Nova Thing? Oh, I heard it in fifth grade, and um, I had a teacher, Mr. Pryor, and um, he yeah. used to give everyone's uh, everyone nicknames. Like she was Senorita, I was Fiesta, yeah. and I can't remember the, this girl's name, but he said your name's gonna be uh, Supernova, yeah. Yeah. and then he said I'm gonna shorten it to Nova. Mm -hmm. and I just thought, and I was like, Nova's such a pretty name. And whenever I was thinking of her name, I, it came to mind, and I was talking to her dad. I was like, "So what about Nova?" Nova. And we just kind of like, you know, that's a pretty name. It's the funniest thing. No, they stopped. <laughs> She's like, this girl's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my thing. <laughs> okay. That's it for the teen mom interview with teen mom. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you think this was an interesting video. Go in subscribe any case, to me. Subscribe to her. Subscribe to me. Go no, check out you. my link in the description below. And bye. -bye.